everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and I do beauty content here, focusing more on like clean and conscious beauty brands. And I'm so happy you're here today. As you could tell from the title, this is a mostly full face of Lawless Beauty Makeup. I've done a couple other of these videos with a lot of Lawless products, but I had a few of you commenting on videos that you wanted to see like a new face with Lawless and wanting to just see more Lawless. So um, I did need to pick up a new lighter shade of foundation for the winter, which I ended up self tanning recently, so this foundation shade is a little lighter than I thought it would be, but it's fine. Um, and then I also picked up some new things that I hadn't had yet with the previous videos. So since then, Lawless has come out with brow products. She also just launched these new tinted lip balms, which we are using today. Um, and yeah, so we've got eyeshadow, we've got powder, we've got blush, we've got bronzer, we've got foundation, we've got concealer, lip. I think that's almost the full face, right? So everything you see here with the exception of just a couple pieces is lawless. The majority of it is the things that you're like really seeing. So if you want to see how I got this look and the full application, get your makeup out with me so you can do it alongside me, grab a snack or a drink and let's get ready together. This is the new shade of the foundation that I picked up. I mentioned previously that, or at least if you've watched my videos previously, I used shade Tawny this is shade Citrine. It's two shades lighter. I think it might be a little too light, but this is one of those foundations that when it dries down, it definitely dries down a bit darker than how it initially looks when you put it on your hand. So that is what I factored into the equation. And then the other thing was um, I just couldn't believe I would only be one shade lighter than my summer shade. But the bigger problem is I self tanned this week, so I don't know how this is gonna work. And I don't have Tawny anymore because I got rid of a bunch of old foundations that just needed to go. I had them for a couple of years. So one of them was Tawny in this shade. So we will see what happens. Now, um, I absolutely love this packaging because it is so travel friendly. It's plastic, it's a squeeze tube, and it has a cap. So for all those reasons, um, it's a winner for me for packaging. It might not be the most glamorous, but I really, like, I used this one when I traveled a lot, like around when it first came out and like, whatever, the last few years when I would travel, this would be my go-to clean foundation to pack because I knew it wasn't gonna break. Also, it's nice and slim and compact, even though it's still like, the full ounce of um, foundation you typically get. So yeah, um, actually this shade might work. I'm using my mirror over here in front of me. But, I mean, I don't know. It looks a little pale on camera. On my actual face, which I don't self tan, it looks fine, <laughs> but it's definitely a little light like looking on my neck because this is self tanned and this is not. So we'll make it work. We'll add some bronzer and stuff, but yeah. I do not put foundation on my eye area because I use just the concealer now. I find that as I've gotten older, less is more when you put around the eye area. But as you can tell, this foundation is a solid medium coverage. It's definitely buildable to be full if you'd like. And it has a more, I would say natural matte finish. It's not totally matte, because I'm not into that anymore. I like a more natural looking finish, um, but it's not ultra dewy either. So it's just kind of good for everybody, I think. You can make it more dewy with a dewy primer or mixing in some kind of like a, just like a product that would give more dew, like the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter or the new Kosas like glowy thing that's out. But yeah, overall, I think it gave great coverage. I don't feel like I need more. So from there, I'm gonna go in with a bit of concealer. So the two shades that I typically use from Lawless are Goldie and Olive. Goldie is the lighter one. Now these concealers are not full coverage. So right off the bat, if you need a little more help, they are not gonna be your like shape tape. And so honestly, that's why I took a break from using them. I used them more in the summer when my skin was just like in a better place. Um, but lately, because I am 21 weeks pregnant filming this, I do feel like I need a little more help. And um, the medium coverage of this concealer doesn't always do me the justice I'm looking for. 
And so also, um, you could use a sponge to blend this out. It does blend out really nice with a sponge. But for me, because I do prefer a little more coverage, whenever you do blend out concealer with a damp sponge, it will lessen the coverage. So I try to use a brush when I want to maintain the most coverage I can. It is a bit, um, like it is hydrating, I will say. It doesn't feel or look drying. So if you are more mature skin, this is a really nice one. It does remind me a lot of the um, Ilia Clean Concealer. I do think Ilia might have a smidge more coverage, but um, I find this one is really like, I don't know, it does melt into the skin in a way that looks very undetectable. This one is supposed to be like a self-setting concealer. That's another thing that this one has. So you're supposed to not necessarily need to set it with powder. I will, because I do get creasing around my eye area for sure. So I'm kind of just gonna let that self-set. Um, and in the meantime, I do have the Lawless Loose Powder, the Seal the Deal Powder. Love this powder, one of my favorites from the line. I mean, I love a lot of this stuff. It's, it is like some of my favorite clean makeup, hence why I have a few videos from using Lawless on my channel. But um, if you are looking for a Laura Mercier clean dupe, like the Laura Mercier loose powder, to me, this is the best one on the market. And I have tried almost every single clean loose translucent powder on the market. But this one looks like the Laura Mercier. It performs like the Laura Mercier. I know Laura Mercier has come out with a talc-free powder now. However, I haven't tried it yet. So in my experience right now, this is like what I think is the best in terms of a dupe for Laura Mercier. So I'm just gonna take what's in the cap and swirl it in a fluffy brush and just gently tap around my face. Not the, not the eye area, but I do wanna just set the T-zone area where I do get a little shiny throughout the day. Although I don't really need it with this foundation since it is more of that like natural matte look. So just in the center, maybe a little bit on the cheeks because I am gonna go in with the bronzer and the blush and I don't want it to kind of get patchy. Using a light bit of powder, whatever's left here, will just help it kind of blend on the skin smoothly. For today's look, we're gonna go in with the Lawless Bronzer in Golden Hour. I've actually been using this, uh, by the way, the packaging, it, it definitely does not stay clean. So like this bronzer is white and it actually, I don't know if it's white anymore. I think it still is. I don't even know if you can tell the camera's not focusing, but it's pretty dirty and the inside is well loved. So I've been using this very regularly on, on a daily basis lately. And then the palette we are going to use is the one, but you could tell like it just gets really dirty. This is the inside. So you can tell I very much love my products from Lawless, but that is another con if you were like curious if there's other things about it that aren't so great because I do do a lot of raving, but there are some cons. So, okay. This Makeup by Mario F2 brush has been like my holy grail for bronzer and brush blush lately because the dual sided um, style is super convenient and I like the size. They're not too big. The blush is the perfect size and the bronzer is the perfect size. So I really love this brush if you're looking for a new bronzer blush duo. So we do want to bronze me up a lot since this foundation is a little light for my body. And like I said, this is shade Golden Hour, which is the lighter of the two, I think, shades she has in this bronzer. So if you did need something with a bit more color, if you're deeper the skin tone than me, it is available for you. Um, just gonna go on the jawline here. I love the tone, it's not, a golden hour is not too cool and not too warm. It's a good color. Like. So I'm just gonna pull a little bit, like concentrate it on the cheeks where I really want the bronzer, but then pull a little bit of the excess down to kind of give the skin a little more color since I'm doing like, I'm trying to deepen up that foundation a little bit. So adding the most where I want the actual bronzer to go, but then pulling a little bit down. And then we'll go on with blush. Another one I've been using daily, this is in my regular makeup bag. This is Lawless Blush in Angel Suede. It's like the perfect peachy tone. It's not too pale, but yet not too dark. I also have Phoenix, Phoenix something. It's like a darker peach. So if you need a peach color, but a deeper, like richer tone, they make 
a similar one. I think it's called Phoenix Sun or something like that. We're not gonna use it today because that's more of a summer shade for me. It would look really crazy with this look. But again, this one I just love and I've been using it like every day. It's the perfect color for me. If I could make one suggestion for their blushes, I would love to see some of her blushes not be full matte. They're all matte as far as I know. I would love to see some with a little bit of a sheen to them, sort of like Hourglass does, because I do feel like I get a little flat with all like the more matte foundation, the matte bronzer, the this blush, like it's certainly a lot of matte. <laughs> So um, let's let's get on that. I would love to see a little, like a luminous blush from Lawless. And now we are gonna go in with the loose powder and set under the eyes. So I'm gonna go back in with the Seal of the Deal powder with a little powder puff. Grab a little on the cap, blend it out in my hand. I want like the littlest bit of powder possible. And I'm gonna make sure, see like there is a little bit of creasing happening around my eye area especially up here, but like under the eyes, it's not too much. And I put more concealer on than like normal. If you don't use as much concealer as me, you would probably barely have any creasing. So I'm just gonna take this and set under the eyes. Mostly under the eyes. I will go a little above the eye here, just with a little whatever's left over. Because again, if I'm going in with eyeshadow, similar to what I said with the powder on the face, I don't want the shadow to skip. I want it to go and apply nice and smooth. So a little bit of powder, not too much, especially as we get older, really can help your makeup look more professional looking. You won't have those skip lines and honestly will last longer because it's not gonna be getting too oily or breaking down, so. So now I wanna go and do brows before we do our eyes. I do not have the brow pencil because I didn't think the color of the pencil would work great for me, but I did get the uh, Soft Set Creamy Brow Wax. So I'm going to do my brows. Actually, just for fun, I will show you what it looks like with no other product, and then I'm gonna do my brows with my normal stuff, and then I will set with this, but I did get shade light medium. She only has light medium, and then I think it's like medium dark. I would have preferred like a middle of the road shade for my brows, but I knew the dark shade would be too dark, and this light shade would maybe be possibly too light, but here we are. So anyway, it does appear, it does look like there are some brow fibers in this. It says it's long wear and strong hold and conditioning. I'm somebody who likes a really strong hold brow gel. I typically like the Benefit, um, give me, not give me brow, brow setter, this one. This is like my go-to on a daily basis. Um, yeah, like the more hold, the better for me. So I don't know if this is gonna hold a candle to that, but I'll give it a shot. And I do like like Benefit Gimme Brow, so I do like tinted brow gels as well. Sometimes I'll do a tinted brow gel on its own and then go in over it with the um, brow setter. But I've seen a lot of TikToks where people are able to just totally use this brow gel on its own to color and fill in their brows. I don't know if that is gonna be the case for me because I don't think the color is enough. But I do like the um, wand, like the brush. It's very like grippy to my brow hairs. But as you can tell, I don't personally think this is going to like cut it for filling in my brows. Mm, at least not with this color. And if I got the l darker one, I think it would just look really Groucho Marxy and be too intense for my hair color. So that's why I, I like that she came out with brow, but I wish she would have come out with like two more brow shades. She needed like one in between what she's got and maybe even one lighter than this one or darker than the darkest. Probably darker than the darkest. But who knows, maybe they'll come out with that eventually. So this is not gonna work for me. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm gonna go off camera and fill in my brows with something else and then we'll come back and I will finish them off with this as like a setter. Brows are on. I use this Kosas brow pencil, which sometimes I use, most of the time I do use a powder though. And yeah, so now we're gonna go back in with the brow gel just to set. It has a waxy feel to it for sure, more like 
gimme brow from Benefit, the brow tint from Beauty Counter, like pretty much any other tinted brow gel I've ever used does have a little bit more of a waxy feel. I think this is a solid option if it matches your brow hairs. Although I will say, I'll be fully honest as usual, I do think I prefer the tinted brow gel from Kosas more. They have so many more shade options, which is really the main issue. And even Beauty Counters. Beauty Counters brow gel in medium, it's a tint darker than this one for me. But again, it works because it gives me like just a bit of a color to blend together like my natural brown hair with my blonde highlights. So anyway, but overall, it's a solid formula. She just needs more colors in this product. Let's get into the eye look. So I do believe in other reviews I've done with Lawless, I used her Glam One palette. Love that one. This one, obviously, I still love. This is gonna be more of your neutral everyday tones. The issue I have with this one is these two metallics are very similar and these two like mid-tone brownie oranges are so similar. So I do wish there there was something else here. I don't I really don't know what. I just think the tones of these two needed to be different because it's just kind of crazy. Like I'll show you what these look like. So here are the two gold metallics that are typically what you're gonna use on your lid. One's a hint lighter, but like honestly, once they're on, that doesn't really do a much difference. And then the two orange shades, one is like a smidge less orange, but again, once they're on the lid, so similar. One is slightly lighter, but again, depending on your skin tone and once they're on your lid, those tones don't make as much um, difference. So I love her shadows. I obviously have used this plenty of times. I like traveling with it, very convenient, but that would be like one of my critiques of the palette. Um, so anyway, let's just get started with doing something very simple. Doesn't need to be anything crazy. The formula is impeccable. The formulas are great. Nothing bad to say about the formulas. So I'm just taking the white under the brow bone here to give a little bit of a natural highlight. I love that the white is more of a matte. Could the white have been a satin? Yes, I think like to just kind of be critical, like the white brow bone kind of a highlight. This could have been a satin color to give a little bit of luminosity in life, but it, I would rather it be matte than shimmer, you know? Okay, so then from there, um, I will go in with this like taupey brown here. And I'm just gonna pop this kind of all over the lid, up towards the brow bone to give some definition to my crease. Because I have semi-hooded lids, I will slap a color like this almost all the way up to the brow bone because you won't see it once my eyes are like open. Am I getting too dark? <laughs> I can't handle this lighting in here. I definitely look lighter on camera than I do in this video. I mean, in real life. In real life, I look more tan. So I don't know, I could try to fix the light again, but that is always annoying. So from there, I will just take the lighter of the two golds with my finger, that's the best way, and just pop this right on the lid. Like, this is not complicated. I just wanna kinda demo how the products perform. I'm not going for, like, a complicated look here because nobody has time for that. And then from there, I'm just blending out again with the color that was already on there. But do you see how, like, just effortless, effortless these shadows are? And again, talc free, tested for heavy metals. You know, if I want to be, again, more critical, I do wish Lawless could disclose more of their like heavy metal testing and stuff from a clean perspective. I know that like brand, like certain people really want to know, um, like, what are you testing? How do you test it? Are you using third parties? Like, what are your standards? Like, how much heavy metals are permitted? Like, you know, there's always limits, right? Like, Certain brands will permit a certain level, but anyway. So I do, I do have, I do. I have heard from friends that are also into clean beauty 
oh, I wish Lawless would say, you know, what they're testing for, what are permit level levels, things like that. And I can't answer those, those questions, but I do trust them. And I could tell from the formulas that they are different than what you would get when you're using traditional beauty brands. Like clean beauty feels a little different sometimes and you can tell the difference when you're using a clean product versus not. So anyway, um, from there, I'm going to take the dark brown. Oh, that's another thing I really like about Lawless's eyeshadow palettes, these little ones. Any Lawless form uh, created them to be like your all-in-one. So she will always have like a lighter shade and then darker shades to use as like eyeliners. And that is so helpful when you're traveling or just a mom on the go or a working busy woman to have like those darker colors that you can define your eyes with. And they're super pigmented too. So oh, my mirror is so dirty on this palette. I can't see what I'm doing. Okay. I don't normally use the mirror in the palette, but it is nice to have. So I'm just creating like a little baby wing with the powder. And then I will go on the lower lash line as well. If this was an evening look, like if I was truly going full glam, it's lovely to have the black to do the exact same thing. This is like, this is a no joke black. Like that is like, can you guys see that? That is crazy, right? So like the pigment, she's there. You don't have to worry with this, this brand if your uh, eyeshadow is going to show up, which I have found, which I have found. There's other clean beauty brands out there. I've bought their palettes and returned them because I've love the colors or you know what they'll do they'll swatch really good on your hand and then when you get home they don't transfer on the actual eye the same way there we go super easy everyday appropriate now i am a big lover of the nude in the waterline i use the essence pencil um it needs to be sharpened but i just do the outer half now for us tired women out there, I do feel like this really awakens the eye area and looks less tired. So that is like something I truly need to do on an everyday basis. Now, mascara, I did have Lawless mascara. If you go back to the other videos I have doing makeup tutorials with her stuff, you will see me use it. But again, it was older, I got rid of it. I just didn't use it in time. I had a ton of mascaras, so it's just kind of crazy. But um, in the meantime, I'm gonna use my go-to, which is the Tarte Tartlet Mascara, and then we will come back and play with the new tinted bulbs. I might take one of these browns, the lighter of the orange brown, just a touch of it. Because, can you tell the difference? Just brings it up a notch. Um, and honestly, you know why? Because when I will take the picture for YouTube, like the thumbnail, Here's something that you guys need to know when you're watching makeup videos. These, like us creators on here, what looks good in every day does not always catch the attention on your YouTube thumbnail unless you have a lot of makeup on. And so it's annoying because, you know, I probably wouldn't have done that for every day, but in order to like catch someone's attention when they're scrolling through to find a video to watch, that's what kind of has to happen. So anyway, I mean, it's still pretty. It's still everyday appropriate, but in general, I probably wouldn't have done that step if it was just an everyday look for me at home. Okay, so I think I do want to add a little bit of highlight. Now, this is a new product from Charlotte Tilbury. It's not Lawless, but because everything does look so matte, I feel like I need um, a little bit of glow. So I actually have two of these new highlights from Charlotte Tilbury, the champagne one, and the Pillow Talk one. I am I like both colors. These are a little odd because they're refillable, so they feel like they're gonna pop out of these cases. They're not very secure in there. This Champagne Glow one, I'll show you swatches. It's almost a little too light on me. I thought it would be perfect, but it's very, very light. But then the Pillow Talk Glow, because it has that pinkish hue, it's almost a little too dark. Oh no, it's so weird. It's I've had a hard time deciding what I think about those powders, but I think I'm gonna try the Pillow Talk one today. And if I need to like brighten it up a bit, I'll add the champagne one on top. So I'm just using this brush and I kind of have to pick up a lot on these. Like the formula 
is mm, I don't know what the word to use is kind of like a gel and I don't even know if that really helped or just made me look more textured <laughs> So that is the thing with highlight. If you have any texture to your skin, it sometimes can just make you look worse. So, I don't know. I just felt like I needed a little bit of glowiness because I was so mad. So if you are not following me on Instagram, which you should be, I'm so much more active on Instagram than here on YouTube lately. Um, I picked up two of the shades of the Tinted Balms, Posey and Baby Doll. I, Baby Doll is more of your cooler pink. Posey is more of a neutral rose um these are really beautiful the packaging is great they're like a metal packaging they have the lawless name right there on the outside really really sleek and chic so here's baby doll it is like a cool light pink it looks darker in the packaging than how it actually goes on so let me just show you what this looks like as it is This does have um, the plumping, the plumping ingredients that she has in the like plumping glosses with the hydrating um, properties of the overnight mask. So it's like a hybrid of her overnight mask and the glosses. Very, very thick feeling, very like a balm, obviously like a balm texture, but like it's not the type of balm that's super thin feeling like the EOS egg balls that we all had years ago that I thought did absolutely nothing. It doesn't feel anything like that. It has more of a cushy treatment sort of a feel. So that's Baby Doll. I really like this one, but it's funny because when I look on camera, I think Posey ends up looking more flattering on, but I just always gravitate more towards a lighter color. These do feel cooling because they do have that plumping effect in them as well. So just keep that in mind. They don't burn, but it is like a cool, cooling sensation. So let me just wipe off this one so I can show you guys Posey. I'm a big fan of this like tinted balm craze that's happening with a lot of these clean beauty brands. I don't think this is going to go anywhere anytime soon because with spring and summer, these are just so easy. They're like not as sticky and gloppy as lip glosses are, but yet they're not like as formal and heavy as, as lipsticks in the summer. So I think this tinted balm thing is like super perfect. So, okay, here's Posey. It appears more like a mauve in the tube, but it does not go on mauve. So it's very deceiving, like what the colors look like in the stick versus when they go on the lip. This is a really pretty shade if you have deeper skin tone than me or fall winter vibes for me. It feels really nice though. And it's pretty, don't get me wrong, it's pretty on, but I just gravitate and feel more comfortable wearing lighter hues. So you know what? I might even take a little bit of this lip pencil and define just like the lower lip here. That will give a more pouty effect and a little on the top too. Love, love, love the lip products. And these are no exception. Knockout, probably, I don't wanna say definitely the best tinted balms, but I now have the tinted balms from Ilia, Beauty Counter, and now Lawless, and I think these are my first favorite. I wanna say Beauty Counter is my second favorite, and the Ilia ones I don't like as much. They're beautiful, but they are more like a lipstick, so they just have more color to them, which I just wasn't expecting in a lip, tinted lip balm, but anyway, that is my completed full face, essentially, with the exception of just a couple pieces of Lawless. So I hope this is helpful. I hope you guys have fun shopping for Clean Beauty with Lawless. They are definitely, as a Clean Beauty glam type of girl, this is the brand for you if you're like anything like me. Um, and I'm just really happy that this brand exists because all the other clean brands are always like natural, clean girl look. And I'm like, yeah, that's great. But like, I also would like a glam look and like, what am I supposed to do when I'm going out for a special occasion? <laughs> so like, bring that too, you know? Like, it's great to do that clean girl everyday aesthetic, but like, we also sometimes need a little more help. So there's that. But anyway, I will talk to you guys soon. And thanks so much for subscribing and following along and watching today. And if this is something you like, and you want to see more like this or you want to see another full phrase from another brand comment below so i can keep my you know ears and eyes open for what you want to see